Good day everyone, for this video we'll be discussing about the nature of research. Research as defined by Cresswell in 2012 is a process of steps used to collect and analyze information to increase our understanding of a topic or issue. He further states that it involves three major steps, namely to pose a question, to collect data to answer the question, and to present an answer to the question. Another description of research is that it is a systematic approach that involves data gathering, analyzing and interpretation in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. When we say that research is a systematic approach, it means that it follows a logical sequence of steps. Now, the research process involves multiple steps starting with identifying a topic followed by conducting preliminary readings, the formulation of questions and hypotheses, locating sources and gathering references, data gathering, data analysis and interpretation, and lastly, the presentation of results. For a research to be considered effective, a researcher must be able to follow each step accordingly. Following these steps would ensure that the results of the research are valid and reliable. Again, the reason why it is described to be a systematic approach is because it needs to follow each step accordingly. A research will not be considered valid or effective if a researcher fails to follow the steps and simply jumps from one process to another. It simply is not going to work as it only puts an issue on the validity and reliability of the results and findings of the research itself. Another characteristic of research is that it involves gathering of data. Now, whether you're conducting a qualitative or quantitative research, it would always involve gathering of data because data is considered to be a source of information which would allow researchers to yield answers to their research questions. For qualitative research, we have qualitative data which can be gathered through focus group discussions, in-depth interviews, human observation, or case studies. In quantitative research, we have quantitative data which can be gathered in different ways depending on what kind of study you are conducting. It could be through surveys, through experiments, mechanical observations, or simulations. In relation to gathering of data, Research also involves data analysis and interpretation. As mentioned earlier, analysis and interpretation of data allows researchers to obtain answers to identified questions. Through proper and effective analysis and interpretation of data, a researcher is able to find information which would allow him to have answers to questions such as why, how, and what reasons, depending on what information is being searched for in his research. And lastly, research is a means to establish facts and reach new conclusions. This means that the recognition of verified research findings leads to finding answers to different research questions. Now, this is one of the most important contributions of research because research findings, once verified or validated to be reliable, could be used as references for future research. At this point, we shall now be discussing the reasons why we should conduct research. Now, it is worth noting that research is basically a part of life. From simple questions such as, what laptop should I buy? Or, which brand of shampoo must I use? Or even, what phone model should I buy? To more serious or complex questions such as, how can I improve my academic performance? How can technology be an aid for educational improvement? Or even, what is the success rate of the COVID-19 vaccine? All these questions involve research because, again, research is conducted for the purpose of finding answers to questions. In addition, Allocation.com shares four more reasons why people should conduct research. Firstly, 
research is considered as a tool for building knowledge and efficient learning. Research provides new or updated information which allows individuals to expand their ideas and knowledge about various topics. Also, research is a means to understand various issues. Research gives us a clearer perspective on why certain issues are occurring by letting us know the rationale behind such issues by providing background information. Another is that research is seen as an aid to business success in advertising. Through research, business owners are able to come up with new products and keep up with the latest trends that will help in their business success. And lastly, research is a way to verify truths and debunk myths. Knowing factual information through research findings allows us to verify truths and theories and disprove myths about certain topics. Now that we know the reasons why we should conduct research, the next question that we have to address is what should I research on? Now a research could be about anything provided that the problem or topic that you will research on is smart. Smart means that it must be specific, meaning it must be focused on a single topic which is not too broad or not too narrow. If a topic is too broad, it might become too complicated and it might take a long time to finish. If it's too narrow, it might become too easy or too simple. Next one is that it must be measurable. For quantitative research, it must be measurable because it involves numeric data and statistics. Next is that your topic must be attainable, which means that it can be accomplished at a given time. Next, it must be results focused, which means that your research must yield results and be able to answer your research questions. And lastly, your research topic must be timely meaning it must be relevant to current situations. At this point, we shall now proceed with discussing the considerations when conducting research. Before conducting a research project, a researcher must take into consideration the following. First, what do I want to research on? Or what do I want to find out? This refers to the research topic that you're going to use when conducting your research. Next question is, who are the ones involved? This refers to the research participants or the respondents that will become a part of your research. The next question to consider is, what strategy or design am I going to use for research? Because depending on the kind of research design, there would be different steps or different procedures involved. The next question is, how am I going to find the necessary data? This means the data gathering process that you're going to use, which involves the instruments to be used as well as the process on how you're going to gather information or data from your respondents. The next question is, how will I interpret the data gathered? This refers to your data analysis and interpretation. And lastly, how will the results benefit other people, which means what would be the significance of the study that you are currently conducting? In a nutshell, being familiar with research characteristics helps students and other aspiring researchers to conduct effective research studies through the application of proper and accurate interpretation of data in line with searching for answers to a particular phenomenon.